In this question, we need to find support reaction at B using conjugate beam method. Here we are given a beam which is a propped cantilever beam because support A is fixed and support B is a roller support. The beam is subjected to a uniformly distributed load of W kN per meter. Now the total number of unknown reactions at A is 3, 2 forces and 1 moment. The total number of unknown reactions at B is just 1 that is support reaction in vertical direction. So total number of unknown reactions for this beam is 4 and because we have only one beam segment so there will be only one free body diagram. So number of equilibrium equations will be 3. So 4 minus 3 equals to 1 will be degree of static indeterminacy of our structure and that is greater than 0. So our structure is statically indeterminate. Now to use conjugate beam method first I will break down the given beam into two statically determinate structure and that I will do by removing the support reaction at B. So these are the two structures for our given beam whose superimposition should give us our original structure. In structure 1 I have removed the support B and the original loading is present in structure 1. In structure 2 the geometry is identical to the given structure but I do not apply original loading on this structure rather I apply a support reaction at B of magnitude RB corresponding to support reaction at B in original structure. Now the superimposition of structure 1 and 2 will give us original structure if the vertical displacement of point B in structure 1 that is YB1 in downward direction is equals to the vertical displacement of point B in structure 2 that is YB2 in upward direction. This equation is also known as compatibility equation that ensures that boundary conditions of original structure are satisfied by superimposition of two component structures. Now we should remember the formula for YB2 that is displacement of free end of cantilever beam subjected to concentrated load at free end and that is YB2 equals to RB L cube by 3 EI and the vertical displacement of point B in structure 1 will be determined using conjugate beam method. To use conjugate beam method first I need to find the bending moment diagram of structure 1. So let's find the bending moment diagram of structure 1. Let's take a section at a distance x from the fixed end call that xx and if I draw FBD of segment right to xx then that will be and at xx there will be a shear force and a bending moment and because this distance is x this distance will be L minus X. So this distance will be L minus X. So if I write sum of moments about section XX equals to 0 with taking clockwise moments as positive then I get this MX is in clockwise sense. So I get plus MX then moment because of UDLW will also be in clockwise sense. So that I can write as plus W into L minus X is the total force the point of application of UDL is midpoint of the UDL and that will be at a distance L minus X by 2 from our point about which we are writing the moment. So the lever arm will be L minus X by 2 and the moment because of this VX will be 0 because that is passing through the point about which we are writing the moment. So this will be 0. So this gives us mx equals to minus w l minus x squared by 2. Now the conjugate beam of 
given beam 1 will be now in given beam I have a fixed support at A so in conjugate beam A will be a free end in given beam B is a free end so in conjugate beam that will be a fixed support and the loading on the conjugate beam will be M upon EI diagram of my given beam so that will be a parabolic loading with maximum value at end A and that I can get by putting x equals to 0 in this expression and that will be minus W L squared by 2 EI and that loading at a distance x from end A will be mx upon ei equals to minus wl minus x squared by 2 ei now we want to find displacement of point b in our given beam and that will be equals to bending moment at b in conjugate beam so we need to find bending moment at b for that i will consider free body diagram of conjugate beam at B there will be three reactions two forces and one moment let's call that moment M conjugate at B that is MC comma B now if I write Sigma M about B equals to zero taking clockwise moments as positive then this gives me the moment because of this parabolic loading can be obtained by taking a strip of width dx at a distance x from A the force because of this strip will be mx upon ei into dx and because we are writing moment about B the lever arm will be L minus x and this moment will be in anticlockwise direction so that will be minus mx upon ei into dx is force l minus x is lever arm and strips like this will have to be taken from 0 up to l to cover the entire load so i will have to integrate this from 0 to l now there is concentrated moment of magnitude mcb in anticlockwise direction so that will be minus m c comma b and the moment because of these forces about b will be zero because they are passing through point b so that's all i have so now my m c b will become minus integral zero to l m x l minus x dx on ei now i need to integrate this expression to get the moment at and B of conjugate beam so I'll substitute mx in my integral so I get this minus minus will cancel and I can take this W upon 2ei out of the integral sign so W on 2ei integral 0 to L this L minus x squared and L minus x will become L minus x cubed dx and that will be w upon 2 ei l minus x to the power 4 upon 4 and because we have minus x here there will be one minus sign here in the limit from 0 to l that will be equals to w upon 2 ei when i put limit x equals to l in l minus x to the power 4 i get 0 minus put x equals to 0 in l minus x to the power 4 i get l to the power 4 upon minus 4 that is equals to w here this minus minus will become plus so w l to the power 4 upon 8 ei this is mcb and that mcb is equals to yb1 in downward direction so my yb1 is equals to wl to the power 4 
upon 8 ei and this should be equals to yb2 so yb1 equals to yb2 implies rbl cube upon 3 ei equals to wl to the power 4 upon 8 ei or rb equals to 3 wl upon 8.